ゼベーゼベーゼベーゼベーゼベーゼベーゼベーゼベーゼベーゼベーゼベーオーケー So Hello once again I thought that ゼベー was going to be Just the best name because it's short and it's cute and it's easy to say. But then I went and I got myself a glass of water and I ruminated on it for a little bit. And it makes no sense and doesn't link to anything as like an actual anchor. And I'm worried that I won't even be able to fit it. I wanted to call him Troy Stotska. But there's, there's like, there's one letter too little for that. So instead we got Troy Stotka. Zeb Stryka. The Troy Stotka. No, Troy, Troy Stotka the Zeb Stryka. It's- both of them are long, unnecessarily complex words to use, but Troy Stotka is now a part of the team. And Lily evolves at level 32. Welcome back to Pokemon Black Blood Super Nuzlocke Rewind! Hell yeah, hell yeah! Getting us a really big, fat, fluffy mustache dog! I love this dog. I love this dog. Look at how poofy his mustache is! Stoutland. Stoutland is a bit of a beef. It's a bit of a beefcake. And I'm very excited to have her as part of the party. Not as excited as I am to have Troy Stotka. Like, if I have to be totally honest, because I knew that this one was coming, whereas Troy Stotka is a bit of a surprise, and I am curious to see how it handles. So what do you got, Lily? Lily is now got 69 speed. Yeah. Um, 67 defense, 70 special defense. Very, very defensive. I think that is now the tankiest mon that I have. Took quite a leap over Softy. Unfortunately, the EVO light no longer works on Lil Lily, so I'll have to put that on somebody else. But still, 80 attack power? 70 defenses and 70 speed? That I, I could I could have a lot worse. This is pretty good. Uh, let's take that item off. I'll figure out what to do with it in a moment. I don't know if Softy evolves. I know Boy does. So maybe Void would be a good idea. But I don't often throw Void out. I guess an Eevee Light on Void would make sense because it would truly turn him into like an emergency button where, oh shit, I'm about to die, throw in the starter who's also unkillable. That'd be pretty sweet. But for the time being, let's go ahead and uh, fly back to town because I found my way to the dark grass and I caught the Mon that I wanted. Now, let's go do some party verification make sure that I've still got the wands that I want, then we'll start fighting all the trainers that we skipped over. Get some EXPs. Okay, Troy Stotka, what are you rocking here? I saw three of your moves. One of them, you kind of just didn't bust out. Yeah, look at this. Pink Tail is absolutely still pink. If I check the summary, Pink Tail is still pink. What's up, Pink Tail? Do I need to put you in battle for you to change your colors? When you do, I have somebody back on Route 6 that I have to take you to. Troy Stotka. All right, summary here. You know Stomp. Oh, look at that. Look at that type spread. Very good, very good. Flame Charge, Pursuit, Spark, and Stomp. 99 HP. Which I guess is something that would also be good to check on, uh... On Lil Lily. What's she rocking now? Lil Lily has... 106. My beefiest mod. Okay, so Troy Stotka... Has the 99 HP currently. That'll go up on the next level. Attack of 83, which is good, and getting fed into... Uh, defense of 49. I don't like that it's pulling out of defense to feed the attack, though. That's- that's a bad. Very, very speedy. 83 speed. I think might even be- Okay, no. 
It's not faster than Poof. It might be a little faster than Nuzzle, but she's not the fastest thing I have. Motor Drive. Raises speed if hit by an Electric-type move. Does that mean that you take the damage, or does that mean you absorb the hit? Because Pink Tail absorbs the hit. Boosts attack and raises speed. Is there any difference between those, like, functionally? Because it uses a different word. Maybe it's just a translation, uh, like... Not hiccup, but like using synonyms just for the purpose of adding some flavor to the text. Flame charge is 50, and it raises the speed even more. You're so fast. I like you having a fire move since I don't have those anymore, but I'd rather you have a different fire move. Maybe it's just flame charge you can learn because you're a horse, though. Pursuit inflicts double damage on switching out. If I'm going to drop anything, it might be this, because I've already got dark covered in a lot of angles. Spark is also a physical move. Everything here is physical. There's an electrically charged tackle and it may leave the target with paralysis. That's real good. That's awesome. Because I go first. It's a status effect move. And it's boosted in power up to basically 100. And Stomp may make the target flinch. Fucking wow. It, what a catch. This is awesome. Just drop Pursuit and then we'll be golden. Unfortunately, you are level 33, which puts you above everything else I already have. That's a very strong catch, but I won't be able to use you for a while, because I've got other mons that need to be uh, leveled up. Lily has been with us for quite some time now, and without the EVO light, like, you are a tanky mon, but you, you're not EVO light tanky anymore. So I'm gonna drop you out in favor of somebody else here. Poof is level 31, Troy Stopka is 33, Pinktail's 32. I think Audino needs some catching up, TBH. And Audino will be able to tank some of the hits that are out here. Then once Audino is caught up, then I can take the Eviola, I mean the experience share, stick it back on Timby to catch him up. I like this. I like this plan. All right. Let's start ruining some childhood dreams, shall we? Uh, da, 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 da. Ozzy, you can you can hop up in front now. I trust you. That raised walkway. If you stand still, you'll fall off, so you have to keep moving. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, interesting. It gives you quite a bit of leeway. What have you got? Bold enough to come talk to me, are you? You're quite the trainer. I like you. Take this TM. Charge Beam. I think that's a special electric move. Sometimes its SP attack goes up. If you're lucky, the power will just keep going. Yes, definitely SP attack. So what do you got for me, hiker buddy? I wanted to go to the Celestial Tower, but I got lost and stranded. Now I'm stuck on this road. I don't know where to go. The town is like 30 feet that way. Well, I don't, I don't know where it is. Simi Seer. So this is what, this is what little fire monkey, whose name I already forgot, would have turned into, eh? Yeah, based on looks alone, I don't, I, I don't doubt that this thing got the least, uh, fell in dead last on the popularity poll. It doesn't look good. It's like, it's like simultaneously sad and also ashamed that it needs to take up your time. Like, that's, that's an unattractively humble and, like, uh, face. On top of something that's got really weird curly hair, gigantic ears, and these hands out that's just like, uh, I don't know what to do with the... It's just, it's a terrible, it's a terrible visual design. I hate it. The more I talk about it, the more I hate it. Let's just, let's just secret power and kill it. I don't think Secret Power is actually going to kill it, but I, I want to start the process of killing it. Oof. That hurt. But Ozzy can do it in, it looks like, three moves. One of them was a crit, sure, but still, Ozzy's tough, boy. 
Taking on him on three levels higher than him. Bam! Uh, two defense, four HP, awesome. I, I guess Lily might not be as uh, HP tanky as Ozzy is. I, I, I like Ozzy, I like Ozzy for that. To get to the Celestial Tower, walk along the road. That's right, if you keep walking, someday you'll arrive at your destination. What if you walk in a circle? Oh, I didn't think about that. I love the Pokemon moves, Mega Drain and Giga Drain. They're pretty good moves. Have you caught any Boldor? I haven't, and I'm not taking your Emolga. I hate those things. Trash can is empty. So are, are, are there actually like gonna be things in the trash cans or have, uh, have the earlier generations simply uh, caused me to be a little bit spoiled in my expectations? Because I'm starting to think that these people are just immaculate trash keepers. I want to fight whatever that thing is, but I also want to make sure that I'm not going in wounded to do it. So let's drop down a little energy powder here onto Ozzy. Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, can I intentionally hop off? I can, awesome. Let me fight whatever this thing is. Is it an Audino? Yes, it is. Hello again. Fourth or fifth Audino. You guys give good experience. That's why I'm here. I also like the variation on the music. It's, it's just nice to get something that's a little different sometimes. Oof. Don't do that to me. I hope my secret power will be stronger than your secret power because I worked myself up. Oh, it put you to sleep too. Nice! Apparently sleep also has a hard turn limit of three. Is that a new addition or has it always been like that? Because I feel like I've had mons that have stayed asleep for longer than three turns. It's super irritating, but I feel like it's happened. Ooh, what a... Good, good bunch of experience. Oh god, those guys are always worth fighting. I'm just on my way up here to stop in at that Poke Center house. Then I'll come back and face the trainers. Rather than spend uh, healing items. I guess I already did spend a healing item though, so... Fuck me, I'm just lying to myself. I, I like the green one too. Oh, it's, it's just as cute. Secret power rules in the grass, man. This is great. Only 155 experience for that, though. Thinking it might not actually be worth my time to go out uh, hunting deer children. Hunting adult zebras, though. That's a different story. These guys give pelts and meat that you can just feed to your mons and just, just, just the, makes make the whole economy of the Poke World go around. These guys right here. Put him to sleep. Damn it. Put him to sleep, Ozzy. Sleeping. Sleep. I also know now that this guy weighs 173 pounds, so Grass Knot might actually do some decent damage here. Hoopa! Not as good as Secret Power. Unfortunately. But I think secret power might just be a... Well, actually, secret power is also getting stab damage. So that's a big reason why this is so extra helpful. I'm going to swap so that I can heal Ozzy. But who do I put in against somebody that knows electric and fire moves? It really... And a dark move. It limits me severely to pretty much just Purdy. I knew there were Zeb Strikers out here, and yet I maintained the same team. Why did I do something so silly? Okay, fake you out. That's gonna be some free damage. And then... one pursuit. You're gonna go first. Don't crit me now! Good. Down goes the Zeb Striker, and I... How much XP do they give? 
Uh, 505. Awesome XP, that's the answer. <sighs> Softy continues to raise in defenses, I love it. What is Mirror Shot? It's another steel move. The user loses a flash of energy at the target from its polished body. It may lower the target's accuracy. I don't remember if Softy is good at physical or special attacks. And they don't let me check from here, which is the truly shit part of it. I wasn't looking at the special attack stat. Hold up, let me let me look at what this what this mon's layout usually is. Um, base stats. Yeah, special attack is terrible, absolutely terrible. Thus, mirror shot seems like not really a good thing. May lower the target's accuracy. Yeah, I think I'm okay on skipping out with that. Leave it, leave it, uh, leave it on the floor of the forest somewhere. Just this perfectly good Pokemon move. I, I wrote it down on a disc and just left it in the grass for the next person. Heal me! Uh, who is it that does it? Is it you? Yes, it's you. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, fighting the Zeb Strikers. I feel like I'm gonna be back to talk to you very, very often. And these raised walkways are just like such a user-friendly, like little addition to just sort of let me run and skip past so much of these guys. So awesome of them. And I'm not being sarcastic. This, this route is like, mm. I'm a big fan. Everything in the wild took a big exper a, a big level jump. Not, not a big, but some stuff in the wild took a level jump, so grinding here will make for good experience yield. I caught a Zep Strika. It's big, there's lots of trainers, and I don't have to walk through the grass to get to a Healy space. Huge improvements. This is a good route. Very good route. Keep rolling in that, rolling in that XP. Okay. So, yeah, it's this grass patch that I have to clear out next. And I already fought you, so let's slowly walk. Somebody told me that walking through grass is better than running because it attracts less mons. I don't know if I believe that. I'm gonna want some hard evidence that that's, that's actually the case. Because running, it just, it just makes you go faster, so you get to where you want to go in shorter time. But more importantly, walking from my experience, seems to have absolutely no noticeable effect. Or no noticeable distinction between it and running and how many mons attack you. Like, you're always getting attacked all of the damn time. It's just kind of the way the game works. Drop him. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay, good. You did Pursuit because you're terrible, but Ozzy's fine. I just wanted to do that for Ozzy because retreating heals Ozzy by quite a bit. So that puts me in a pretty good pos uh, position where I could kind of just like pull Ozzy out, throw in Purdy, fake out, and then put Ozzy back in again with more HP. That's a really easy way for me to fight Zeb Strikers. Level 30, Ozzy. HP, twos all the way down. Very good. Ooh, it is about time you learned a real power move, though. Grass Knot hasn't been doing anything for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and forget it. it I don't think it's really gonna help me at all. Secret Power has been my go-to, and now I have Takedown, and I can get my own HP back pretty easy. See, look at this. This has been two steps and another two steps, and I'm just getting attacked the whole way. I know this is like one circumstance and this is not the way the statistics work but this has been my entire experience with walking through stuff is it like it, it doesn't seem to change anything let's go ahead and switch over to uh to purdy then let purdy do a fake out let ozzy heal up a bit oh bam i like the animation for fake out because it's just it's just hands coming in and like smacking the thing on both sides of its face. And it's really funny to imagine any Pokemon actually performing that action on an opponent. Just walk up to them and... 
I would I would probably have to shake my head a bit too after that. <laughs> confuse Ray is the worst. Don't confuse Ray me. Don't do this. Don't do this. I mean, I can pull Ozzy out again to get even more health back if that's what you really want. I'll throw in Softy. Softy's level 30 now. Softy can probably take a bunch of what exists in the wild here. You'll super fang, you're just gonna hurt yourself by biting my various barbs. And then I'll go and gyro ball you. No. All right, that, that sucks. I don't like that. Wake up, Softy. Wake up, you spiky little numbskull. No! Why do you know two different status moves, Watchhog? You're awful. I don't like you. I feel like he's not gonna attack me at all because he knows he's gonna get hurt. Which kind of works out nicely for me, honestly. I would like to get rid of this confusion because it's gonna draw this out even more. You're gonna hypnosis me again instead of actually attacking me. Just, just please die. Please die. Stop hitting yourself. Don't get hypnotized. Don't get confused. Just hit the watch. Ah! Oh. Just hit the watchhog. He's right there. Thank you, Pokemon RNG. It hates me. It hates me to the very core of my and its being. Give me the ball. Thank you. Ugh. Next time. Oh, this has been a slightly short episode, but like, dude, dude. Like, come on. This, I, it, 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 it can't be. It can't be that two, that walking attracts them less.